So Emmanuel, after one year of shooting, do you still believe in peace and what is the problem? Well, first I would say the problem is not God. Um, I think after a year looking for God, we have found God and we have found that uh, actually God is many things and that the word God comes from a verb, which means to invoke. So really the notion of the movie is that notion of invocation. Invoking means uh, asking, Uh, summoning, inviting, not only yourself to connect with the wholeness and oneness of the universe, but with the complementarity, the interdependency with other human beings. So yes, God is, because life is. Uh, so you don't need to make it into a dogma, you don't need to make it into a ritual. If it's your choice, fine, to each their own. But at the same time, realize that whatever you make it into is a materialization of a spirituality which exists. The notion of spirituality being that uh, it's molecule, an organic living assemble, visible and invisible, and that is God, the, the sum of all of us. Um, having expressed that, that feeling about God and meeting people all over the world, I feel that more than ever peace is here, and what we are doing is we are just talking and we are not acting. And so I think enough is enough. We have to stop talking about peace. We have to stop many meeting, making peace summit. We have to make it. And making it is very easy. It's, it's about surrendering right now, right here, to each other. Put down your weapon, and that's it. And then we figure it out. But the, the, the action of making peace has to start first, and then we talk about peace. So it's one of these rare cases where the action has to precede the thinking. And, and I think it's doable. It's a question of will. It's a question of personal commitment and it's a question of finding the right leaders to lead us in this direction. Because as we know, we have been in an infernal cycle of, of, of greed, of selfishness, of, of stupid conquest, especially led, unfortunately, by uh, uh, the US government, which totally destabilized the planet. Uh, so we have to really, us, mankind, to unite and we have to elect people like Barack Obama who are really an example, a representative of what it is to be a human being today, which means there is no notion of race, no notion of religion. This is just apparent illusion of disconnection. But what there is deep, deep, deep down, it's a mix, it's a melting pot of all of us that exist in our genes, in our culture, in uh, everything that we're doing every day. So we need to have leaders like him that encourage other leaders to really form a world federation and, and not a, trying to revive the UN and make the UN something that it cannot be because thinking we can have a parallel organization that's going to solve a problem is silly. We need ourselves to solve a problem. Us, you know, each country needs to unite, sit down around a round table and have a world federation that decide of the main line for the planet, that decide to put together all the resources and spread it equally and bring back a sense of, of socialness, of justice, and of peace. So yes, I think What we have seen traveling from the Middle East to Japan, to India, to Europe, to the US, is that there is a critical mass of people thinking and living peace every day. And so, therefore, what the media have done, what most of the government have done, denouncing and focusing on terrorism and all the ugliness of the world, sure, it exists, but it's not the solution. We have to focus on us, the people making the effort, the people making the effort to come to Dharamsala, like me today, who is not received by the Dalai Lama, but who is happy to be here. Because in a way I still have made one with a place and I've made one with the people and the land and, and the universe. So we have to make the effort to make peace now. More than ever, peace is here, right now.